Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody. Welcome to What's Up 372 and we are at stage four of WKG's Vive La France. And guess what? We're not climbing today. In fact, based on the profile, we're doing the exact opposite. Uh, let me bring, let me just bring that profile up. I'm quite excited about this because I could have done with a full on rest day today. And this one, there, that looks about as close to a rest day as you can get whilst racing. However, anyone familiar with WKG will know we've been running some semi-regular downhill races and they destroy you just as much as going uphill. You're still trying to beat the person in front, so if they're doing 700 watts down at 12% gradient, that's what you've got to do <laughs> to stay with them. That said, I need to try and get something back into my legs. My plan, as I've mentioned, is to complete all 21 stages of this. It's not going to put me on a podium, it's not going to put me in the top 300 I wouldn't have thought but I want to finish and I don't want to jeopardize that by just blowing up certainly within the first week so I've got to try and resist the temptation to chase try and pace myself but with a view to just not losing too much time to my rivals around me if at all possible I'm thinking of you Martin prop monster prop uh, I've seen some times from earlier, from the earlier races. This is the fourth and final race of stage four, by the way, the 1830 stage. Uh, sorry, race slot. Around about an hour wouldn't be bad for me at all. If I can get, if I can get under an hour, I've probably pushed harder than I should. So anywhere around between an hour, hour and five minutes, I'll be, uh, I'll be pretty happy with that. Based on what I've seen earlier, I might be completely kidding myself. We do, however, have a pretty strong field tonight. It looks like. Once again, the most populated time slot. So the draft is going to be powerful. If I can get onto a bunch and not use too much energy, maybe I can still put up a half decent performance. Uh, anyway, I've done a warm up. My legs are still attached to me, just. We've got, oh, if you haven't already seen it, go and check out the recording of the live stream, the ZMS live stream with commentary by none other than Mr. Paul. Pickles Nichols as a guest commentator with Kelvin Newman. Uh, Jonathan Crane, I'm not sure is in that one tonight, but please forgive me if I'm wrong. But go and check him out. It's, it's sure to be entertaining. I'm hoping Pickles has had plenty to drink to calm his nerves and then just uh, just babbles nonsense for, for an hour or however long this race takes. That's always entertaining. Uh, I've just spotted Mr. Keith D in the lineup just up ahead of me. Fantastic to see you on there. I know you've had some issues, as have a few people. I've, I've avoided trying to address them directly because I am by no means tech support. Um, not even officially associated with the RGT, so I didn't feel it was my place to jump in and try and try and support those sort of technical side of things. That's not because I, I don't care. I want as many people on this as, as I possibly can get. And um, to see Keith D here proves that he's logged in at the very least. So that's absolutely fantastic. Jamie Woodward's here. I can see Wouters just behind me. Gil Sorway, Dave Sorway. Oh, balls. How can I not race when Dave Sorway's right there? And I'm pretty sure the guys that ripped my legs to pieces last night in the, uh, the cat race are also in this lineup. Martin Overweg, Shane Blackmore, Scott Money. If you are here, guys, have a good one. Go easy on me. Uh, <laughs> like, like I say, I'm intending to kind of use this as a bit of a spin but you know we shall see right i'm going to stop talking got five minutes give myself a little bit of hydration see you in a minute okay 45 seconds to go i can expect a very explosive start from everyone around me but if by any chance i can just exert myself for a few seconds to latch onto a wheel in this front bunch who knows uh, well, <laughs> I think we do know. Anyway, positive frame of mind. Come on, let's get something out of this without killing myself. Five, four, three, two, one. Stage four. Go, go, go. Have a great race, everyone. I'm in the lead. No, I'm not. That was my moment in the sun. 
I can't chase and stay with that front bunch. Frustratingly, because Front Monster is definitely in there, along with Ralph Ali Ash. Uh, I think they're both in the top sort of four or five positions, flicking around with everyone else in that bunch. Great stuff. Just joined forces with the mighty Jamie Woodward. Superb to see you, Jamie. Whoa, big bunch. I didn't see them coming. Ah, oh, balls, come on. There's John, by the way. Ah, oh, Slater, Sonica. Jamie's still here with us. Diesel, Keith D. Fenley, Katluka. All in this bunch. And a lot more besides. Watching A Morgan there in the front bunch down on the mini screen. I've just seen Steve Newton is here. Superb. Another one. I was really worried was going to miss out on this competition from technical problems. He's in this bunch. He's one of my main rivals in the whole competition. Excellent. That's Stephen Game right in front of me. Superb! Ah, oh, look who's popped up in the front three. Darren Rayfield. Just as I get spat out of another bunch. <laughs> I knew this would happen. It's alright. I'm just trying to get as much of an advantage from them while I can. And just see what happens. Better check what's going on behind me. Right, I've got a bit of clear air for a while. So up front we have all Sops, Philip, Phillips, Jeffrey. Hamrick had Decker's there, Shepherd's there, Rayfield's there, Heaven, Dave Sorway, Tin, Lopez, all up there, great stuff. Sokolowski, all in that very fast front, boot, front bunch. Got a bit of a break at the front, R Stone. Holding more power than uh, up against a group of about 30 riders that include Hank McHausen, Decker, Wouters, Ferreira, Sokolowski. Oh, I've been caught by another bunch there on that screen. That's very handy having that there so I can react. I'll check out who's in that bunch with me. Uh, See Doble, Russell, Gin, Woods, Hutzluka, Trilk, Paul Trilk, that is, Sigworth, Armitage. Oh. And as I'm reading the names, they've gone. So, it's myself, Doble and Russell, I think, in this bunch, his trio. Kathleen Denton's only 500 metres, sorry, 400 metres behind me. Ahead of her, Pianka, the car. This is definitely still more power than I want to be putting out or will be able to put out over the, the rest of the course where I'll stay with it for a while. Paul Bailey's at the front there, Shepherds, Nukebauer, Paradine. That's a seriously strong bunch of riders right there at the front. Holy moly. Ferreira making a charge to the front of the bunch. As you saw from my course profile at the beginning, this is the second stage to count towards the flat, flat competition. We've had two flat now, one mountain, one general. Tomorrow's is very much a mountain. When I say one general, they're all for general, but one that didn't count for either of the other two competitions. tell you who's creeping up behind me mr stuart woodsell so brilliant to see you in the race but please don't beat me try and have sympathy on my old weary legs give me a toe to the line and just duck out of the way that'd be great the prop monster i don't know if he's still in this first bunch but if he's not 
He's still in the one way up the road. Absolutely flying. He's got such a powerful kick that if he could get to the end in one of the fast front bunches, it wouldn't surprise me if he can sprint, out sprint whoever he's with and really stretch his lead over me in the, in the general. He is there, Martin Prop, currently third. His ears must have been burning. And do you know what? They're knocking the power back quite nicely. So this will play into his hands. Seriously, if he can stay there, I wouldn't put him past a stage win. Uh, Paradigm's now at the front, 10 watts per kilogram. Oh, oh, putting some power on the rest of the bunch. He's splitting them up. Wow. Decker's gone with him. Melville's gone. Hor hum Humrich Halesen. I'm sorry about pronunciation. It doesn't help not being able to see the rest of the name, but I'm pretty sure it's Humrich Halesen. Gone too, but Paradigm's still over 9 watts per kilogram. Uh, he's backed off now. That was a serious kick. Impressive. And there we go, the bunch. Pulled them back in. That's what you're fighting against. On flat and descent with a large bunch. You need some serious watts to make any kind of brake stick. idea of the bunch speed. The bunch that I tried to latch onto when I joined these two guys, Doble and Russell, they are now, oh no sorry, I was going to say they were two and a half kilometers ahead of me, they're not, they're 300 meters. My poor eyes reading it on my small phone screen. Even so, I'm not catching them again, but I'm not even going to try. Okay, 4% incline at the front. I'm on about 2% incline where I am. This is where you can expect some attacks, I should imagine, from the likes of Paradigms, Decker, and the other climbers in, the, in that group. Uh, I've been caught and passed now by the bunch behind me, which was Stuart Woodsell, Drew John, Russell Larson, who I was with, and some other guys. And look what I've got now, sneaking up on my wheel. <laughs> How creeper why? Uh, I'm in a quartet with How Why, D. Batute. De Strasser, Strasser, and myself. Up front, it looks like it's the same bunch. I will check back on them. I need to keep an eye on my race, mainly so I can see the course profile as I'm riding. So when we start going uphill, I can see roughly how long it's going to last. about halfway now, 29 minutes, which obviously suggests potential there for an hour. Obviously I'll slow down and the first 5k or so was stupendously fast while I was managing to latch on with the front group, but it looks like I'm kind of on target for my desired time. I can tell you, I can also see Dwight Williams, Catherine D. Argyll, uh, Retka, all cruising up behind, about 300 metres at the moment, and there's others in that bunch as well, let me have a look, oh Zed Sprocket's there, M Wilson's there, yeah, there's some power in that bunch, I would not be surprised if they are basically building up into this, Jan Decker seems like quite a safe bet to keep in the, uh, the leader's window down there. up from behind. Dwight Williams on his own. 
<laughs> Man, that is awesome. He's going straight through. Dwight, calm down, man. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Dwight. I can just see D Williams. I'm pretty sure it's Dwight. He's powered away anyway. About two, not having any of it. Chasing after. to, uh, oh, what was the name, Russell, that I was with earlier, he's obviously got detached from that bunch, I can see up front they've got about 5k to go, I'll jump back to them shortly, once we've sort of established this, uh, this group with Russell. That's you, it's gone for it, it's made a break. Four and a half watts per kilogram, great effort. Be interesting to see if we can hold that. If we can uh, get ourselves together. We're on a little bit of a climb at the moment. The power of four or five. Once we come over, it might be too much. Shall see. Certainly got the legs at the moment. Okay, annoyingly, I think I'm gonna have to jump to the front. Yeah, these guys, four kilometers to go. Got Decker, Stone, Sokolowski, Paradanes, Bushman, Alex. Homrichhausen, Gonzalez, Smedley, Melville's still there. Uh, it looks like we've pulled back in Batute on the screen below, just as the front bunch hit the Flam Rouge. Based on recent sprints I've seen, I'm putting my money on Horikhausen, but I don't think I've seen quite a few of these guys in a sprint recently, so it's anyone's game. All right, 500 meters, sorry, 600 meters. Is anyone gonna go for a long one? Doesn't look like it. Actually, looks like we've got a slight bump. That's the finish here. Currently Stone. In the lead, now Alex, Decker. Decker doesn't want to lead this one out. 280, here we go. Melville coming from behind with a bit of power here. Here goes Decker. Here goes Decker. Who's chasing? Sokolowski. Oh, has Decker gone too soon? Whoa, it looks like he has. Paradanes. Paradanes all the way. No. Who's this? I think Bushman nicked it by Paradanes and Decker. Wow, guys, fantastic stuff. Right, let's try and get back to the next bunch. There we go. This looks like the next rider on the road. Jay Van Bears with uh, now into 600 meters. Looks like we've got a great battle going on behind Van Bears as well. Four or five riders in that one. We'll just see Van Bears to the line. Last 30 meters, just outside the top 10. Great stuff, dude. And here we go. We have got Blanchard, Nugbauer. Who's this coming through now? Paul Bailey's there. There's Tin. Oh, come on. Looks like Paul Bailey. Who's this now? Gone past Paul. Ah! Jeffrey. Jeffrey's going to nick this one on the line. Oh, is he? No. Oh, also, I think, got that. Wow, another awesome sprint. Uh, Ferreira, you finished, sorry guys. Here we go, here's the next bunch. Oh man, I can't keep up with this. I'm gonna have to keep looking at my screen as well. Make sure I'm still with the guys I'm supposed to be with. Oh, Phoenix has gone. Gone for a long one. Uh, is he gonna hold this? Ah, oh, I think he might. Oh, oh, no, he's not. Oh, man. Look at these guys coming through. Martin Prop, Ralph Aliash. Prop's going to have to go again. 
Wow, what's a kick by Aliash. Oh, someone's gone. Oh, I didn't see. Aliash won that bunch. I didn't see the rest. Sorry, guys. Horsefield's just come through. Heaven and Shepherds just come through. Next up should be Ogilvy. Here we go. Great stuff. And then Lyndon Thompson. Rounding off the top 40. Oh man, I'm getting dropped. Good job, Lyndon. And now another big bunch. 2.6k out. Good, I can take a breather and have a look at where I am. I'm still there. Okay, flam for these guys. Just as I feel the first twinge is a cramp back here. So I'm going to struggle if we go to a sprint <laughs> with these guys. <coughs> Not even sure I should try it, to be perfectly honest. So we've got Adams, Reuter, by the way, Krajewski, Woods, Carr. Oh, a couple of tanks off the front. Who have we got? Who's that? Brian Roden. Oh, we've got Fernandez, Davis. Ah, Armitage, I think, took that. Sorry, guys, really hard to follow that. Ah, oh, no, no, I missed a bunch. Damn it. Sorry, fellas. And ladies, ladies and gents, Diesel comes over. Here we go, look at this. How did they get that far ahead of me? Castenda, Keith D, Steve Newton, C. Byam. Two hundred to go, come on, who's gonna light it up? It's Mr. Keith, the Hoff Denton, taking it up at the front. Hang on, have I missed a bunch? Uh, have I missed something here? Uh, oh, hang on, what's going on? There's Dave Sorbet. He's in the last 500. I think I missed it. Guys, so sorry. Ah, oh, that's a bugger. Anyway, we've got Dave Sorbet coming up. <laughs> I don't know if Dave knows he's on camera, but he's waving. <laughs> Good on you, man. Dave's over the line. Okay, next group. Oh, try and pick the bones out of there. Hianka, Hayes, Sunica, Guskett. Stephen Gaines in there, I think. Yes. Someone's gone off the front. If I go up, can I actually get to them without losing it? Oxugulu. Oh, Stuart Woodsell. Oh man, great job. 7.9 watts per kilogram. Oh, he has got someone in front of him as well. It was Sigsworth, Ben Woodsell, great stuff. And then Sudinka takes that bunch. Good job. And then, whoa, Guska just ahead of Giles Blundering. And now we come back to Larson, Paul Trilk, Jay Tome. Looks like Tome's gone for it. Early break, is it enough? It looks like it. Doesn't look like the guys behind are that interested in chasing down. Paul's put up a big dig. But no. Tome takes that nicely. Then Paul Trilk. Then H. Larson. All right, guys, I'm going to have to go back to me because I think we're actually in the Flam Rouge. We are indeed. 500 metres to go. Russell's gone for a long one. Oh God. They've all gone, I'll be left. That's not on. I'm with Dave Doble. Good to see you, man. Right, should I try and sprint this? Last couple of hundred. See if I can scare someone. I feel cramped, so it probably won't go very well. All right, let's go. <laughs> Dave's going to come round me. <laughs> uh, oh, I have to throw the towel in. Great stuff, man. There we go. Right. 
I'm done. Stuart Bailey's coming up with uh, who's that on his wheel? Oh, I can't flick down now. Let's just get to see Bailey come over the line. Good job, dude. Bailey. And how? Oh, how must have slipped off with that with that break as well. Oh, oh do you know what I did under an hour? Come on! <laughs> oh, well done guys for dragging me around, that was brilliant. Rep Kirst just come in, Catherine Dee's just come in, Zed Sprock is just coming. Awesome stuff. Let me just quickly check that top ten again, because obviously we saw the win for Bushman. Just nipping paradigms. Look at that. One. Am I right? Is that one thousandth of a second? Holy moly. And then only one hundred, sorry, nine hundredths of a second back to Decker. Wow, guys. Okay, that's your podium. Fourth place, Melville, Sokolowski, Homerick House, Alex, Smedley, Stone, and Gonzalez. That's your top ten. Ah, I can't go for everyone. <laughs> it's, there's, there are loads in here tonight. So I'm actually going to go back down. Actually, I do need to see Martin Prop's time. I did just see his name. 50.27. Oh, my God. That's about 10 minutes he's taken in each of the last two stages over me. And I only had about five minutes over him going into those. So, great stuff, man. Uh, right, so Sprocket still. Last one over the line at the moment. Um, there are still quite a few guys out on course. I'd love to stay with you. But... It's pretty much bedtime for me now. I've got to get some sleep for stage five, which is, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. Let's be honest, it's, it looks disgusting, in fact. Do you know what, I might even be able to bring it up. Let me have a look. Give you a little sneaky peek of what's in store tomorrow. All right, there we go. Stage five, cold obisk. 18 and a half kilometers, 1200 meters of climbing. Uh, what do you reckon? About a kilometre of flat at the bottom, then just all up. Superb. Looking forward to that one. <laughs> right, I need to go and massage my legs, see if I can talk Mrs. Neil into uh, rubbing some oil on me or something. Just to soothe it. Oh, look, while I, was, while I was doing that, others have come in. So, let me just... Zed Sprocket's in. Ark Eel, well done. M. Jones, D. Strasser, M. Wilson, A. Maltese, D. K. Reilly. Gramescu, and look at this, the two guys that beat me to pieces yesterday. Scott Money, Shane Blackmore. Great stuff, guys. Uh, I know you'd have beaten me today, but I do know you were actually taking it easy, which is definitely what I should have done. Um, I didn't I didn't overexert myself, but I still probably should have eased back a little bit. Anyway, thank you all so, so much. Please, as I mentioned before, go and check out the ZMS live stream. I'm, I'm desperate to go and watch it myself now. Um... <laughs> For all the results, which will be updated a bit later today, now that the fourth stage has completed, go to teamwkg.com, click on the little Vive la France icon on the left-hand side, and uh, you'll see the table there. You'll have a download for the, the rider handbook, uh, links to all the latest uh, Vive la France videos, um, and keep an eye on it for some upcoming goodies, which uh, should be appearing very soon. Anyway, thanks all very much for riding. Thank you all so much for making this event what it is. It's Bloody brilliant. I mean, I don't want to sound too proud of myself, but look at this. Look what we've created. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, thank you, RGT, obviously, as well. And um, when I say we, I really do mean we created because I'm a very small part in a much bigger picture behind the scenes that has been just... Words can't describe how great... Anyway, that's enough of that. I shall see you all tomorrow for Stage 5.